In this session, we are going to see how we are going to execute Python program from the external configuration file. Here, I have written the configuration file uh, from the home folder, which is under config, and the configuration file name is rvraidconfig.json. It is in JSON format. Let's see how it is going to be. It is a dev. Um, here I'm going to call this as an environment. You know, in case of dev environment, it is going to be in the values are description is bad and file name is dev out. And in case of test, it is going to be good and test out. Okay, this is this is how the JSON file format would be. Here without fails, this comma is imperative, otherwise it won't read properly. Okay. Now let us get back to our Jupyter notebook. Um, here for our testing purpose, I am setting as um, environment like this, but in a, when I'm going to run as a Python program in the environment, in the Unix environment under that uh, virtual setting, you know, I'm not going to use this. So for a development purpose here, I'm going to do like this as usual here, the environment, the value is going to be test. Here, then I'm going to read using argument parser. I'm going to read uh, the environment. Let's see the value. Yes, it is going to be test because here I have passed the value as test. In case of dev, let's see what is the result. Okay, it is going to be dev. Then from this config and rv read config.json file with open as JSON data file, here I'm reading this value. Whole set of values will be read into this data then from data based on the environment i'm going to read the value let's see here the dev is given so in case of dev it is going to be bad and dev out dot txt yes it is going to be bad and dev out dot txt then before that you know um, we need to see uh, this real values over here from here only i'm going to collect this good bad and all those stuff you know marginal also i can give let's see how we are going to give marginal there are some values for a marginal also let's see then here i'm going to read this the actual data file here i am reading it i don't know why i named a grilled cheese let it be you know then all the lines have been read for we can see how the values are read yes like this it got read. it was read properly now let me comment it out because honestly it will occupy the space then i am going to collect the values that is uh, read based on whether it is bad or good here i you know for my convenience i gave de bad but actually we can just stop it with the de now let's see yeah the number of bad descriptions are 1482 total number of description then let me store this value it is going to be in dev out dot txt is there any dev out dot txt over here no right let me execute this yes it got created over here what is the value dev out dot txt so whatever we have seen the total number of DEs, descript descriptor, and total number of records, everything got stored over here in the flat file. So this dev out.txt and bad, it is driven from this JSON file. Now, okay, here there are a few more things I would like to show and how we are going to merge these cells. Because in the past, we, if you see, mm, I will show you those the Python file when we are converting Uh, converting from IP, YNB to Python, you know, there are some lots of hash values are coming. It is not going to affect the program, but for that uh, look perspective, I mean, it is uh, unnecessary. So how we are going to eliminate, let's see, you know, there are some um, ways to hack, you know, this kind of issues in the Jupyter Notebook. Let's see how we are going to do that. 
I'm going to select like this. After selecting all those, uh, all the uh, fields, I'm going to say Shift M. That's it. Now everything became a single program. Okay, it's going to be in single unit. If you want to split, you know, for example, place the cursor over here and you can split if you want using Control Shift minus. It will it will split the two cells. Now I'm again emerging the cell. How I'm going to merge the cell? Shift and press the next cell. Then Control Shift M. That's it. Everything got merged. Right. Let me run this program. Okay. Unexpected indentation. Yes. Now everything got perfect. Now we we are getting the result as as like this dev out the values are stored in dev out now let's assume it is going to be test i'm going to execute it is going to be good test out the values are stored over here let's see yeah dev out is here then test out also here dev out test out now we are going to see how we are going to run this program from this mb convert then or we read python python to python yes now we got proper python file see there are only one hash i don't need it i don't need this and import is mandatory sorry then the system argument we don't need, right? Because we are going to pass it externally. How we are going to pass it? Let's see. Yeah, by mistake, I deleted uh, this uh, particular lines. Now I'm added, added it over here. So if from the DE list, I'm getting uh, this value is getting iterated. Then when I'm trying to run in the dev, I got this values. Assume it's going to be test yes it is going to be the number of good descriptors are uh, 8419 and um, there are few more things i already told you that uh, what we are going to do here is um in this json configuration as in like a test i'm going to create something like a est here um, system test as in okay EST and we have seen some more descriptors from the CSP file like um, other unique values are marginal. Okay, let's give this value as um, marginal at the end. This comma is imperative, otherwise, it won't work properly. Now I'm going to run this name ST. See, it is going to be ST out. Cat ST out. Yes, I got number of values so to make it you know clean you know to make it better what we can do a small change we can uh, do over here shift g at the end i am going to give slash n so that you know it looks um neat yes yep it, it is coming clean test see the values are obtained over here good and uh, test out okay likewise dev that just all i'm doing from this configuration file is i am selecting whether it is st or test or dev that's it from here i'm doing all these things only if i refresh automatically it will get updated let's see yes this comma is coming perfect so see the st out everything populated over here so in this session we have seen how we are going to drive this uh, python program from the external configuration file um, so when we are having a fixed set of you know configuration like uh, it's not only here for example here we have seen here we have seen like uh, you know a description file name but in real time what we will do uh, we will give the database the username the password i mean password mostly it will be decrypted and um, the host name 
and where the log file needs to be stored everything will be given over here so each and every time you know we do not give a huge string of uh, the arguments when we are calling this python program so if you have any you know questions please uh, put it on the comment i will get back to you at the earliest thank you